Today, I'll be showing you how to set up Alta X with your FRX Pro. We sell the Alta X with and without it installed. You can look down right in here, and if you see your FRX, then you can skip ahead past the installation process. If you don't see it, I'm gonna show you how to install it. These are the bits and bobs in the kit. You'll get two types of screws, some button heads and some countersunks. You get an antenna for the Alta X FRX Pro, an SMA extension lead with a door, the FRX Pro that goes inside, and the FRX Pro that will connect to Qgown control. It doesn't matter which FRX goes inside. Now, this may take a little finagling, but I find it easiest to open up the Alta X like this. That'll open up a slot right in here. If you look down inside, there will be two leads. One's a GH connector, and one is a Molex 4-pin connector. That's the black and white leads. Those will slot in the back of your FRX Pro that's going inside and give a nice click. Then you can drop your FRX Pro down into the Alta X chassis through this slot just outside the ring. Okay, once you have those two cables attached to the back of the FRX, it's time to attach our SMA extension lead. It's good to do this before we screw down the FRX Pro, it just makes it a little bit easier. I feed it through the door underneath all the carbon plates and then up through this hole. At the same time, I bring the FRX Pro up through the same hole, and then you can attach the SMA outside the chassis, which just makes it a little bit easier. Okay, that's attached. Doesn't need to be too tight, but you don't want it slipping off. Then you can drop that all back in there. You can now screw on the door. It's the two button head M3s that attach on. Okay, now that you have the door on, it's time to install the FRX Pro to the bottom plate of the Alta X. I like to do this on its side, so I install the Velcro straps to hold the props in place. And then flip the whole machine right up onto its side like this, revealing these two countersunk holes for FRX Pro. You'll need the countersunk M3 screw and a two millimeter driver again. There are two screws in total. Make sure those are nice and tight, but not over torqued. Then you can flip the aircraft back onto its landing gear. The last bit is installing our antenna. It goes on the SMA extension that we put on. Just tighten it down and then pointing down. For binding your FRX Pro to your laptop using Q ground control, you'll need the receiving FRX Pro and a USB-C cable, whether it's C to A or C to C, it doesn't matter as long as it matches your laptop. We'll need to provide the aircraft with power somehow. It's important to mention that you should never power on your aircraft with flight packs with the props on on the bench for safety reasons, of course. So here I'm using a power supply, 44.2 volts and about half an amp. So the aircraft wouldn't have enough power to arm if it did want to. So let's just flip that on. Aircraft will come online. Okay, we got Q ground control open. You'll see waiting for vehicle connection here because we haven't connected our FRX Pros. Let's get that done. So to bind your FRX Pro, you'll need to connect it via the USB-C port on the bottom to your laptop. You should see the white light come on here and the white light should be on in the Alta X2. Mine are green because they're previously bound, but if they're not, they'll be white and I can show you how to bind them now. In here, you'll see the bind button you just wanna go ahead and press that and it'll start to flash white. One second later, you press the bind button on your FRX Pro next to your laptop. They should flash and turn green together. Now it's important to note that if you're not connected to the laptop or if the cable is not connected here, they will turn green and then go back to white because there's no data being passed through. The continuous green means that data is connected on both ends and it's communicating as it should. You can see now that it's connected to Q ground control. There's one thing we need to check and that's that the baud rate is configured correctly. We'll go to settings, params, up here under search. We'll search for baud. And we're looking here for sir tell one baud, and making sure that's set to 57608N1. If it's not, you can change this, but if it's not, you're probably not connected with your FRX Pro, in which case you'd be connected directly to the aircraft with your USB-C cable on the opposite side here. Basically, set to default, 57, 600, eight and one. This is the same baud rate that we will set later in the FRX Pro configurator. Hit save on that, back to the main screen. Looks like everything's set up. We have communication with our aircraft. We're bound and ready to go.
Now let's talk about configuring your FRX Pros with the FRX Pro Configurator tool. Say that 10 times fast. Okay, let's, so let's say that you have two FRXs that you're unsure if they were set up for Movi Pro or Alta X. Or let's say you took the FRX Pros off your Movi Pro and you want to use them on your Alta X. Well, we have a tool on our website available for download. It's called the FRX Pro Configurator. It's also on the wiki. And it's designed to help you set up your FRX Pros with the correct power output and baud rate for the device you're using it for. Let's open that up here. This is what it looks like. You'll need to connect your FRX Pro like I'm showing here with the USB-C cable again. One thing to mention is Q-Gun control cannot be open at the same time that this FRX Pro is open or will not connect because it's using the same COM port. So let's close that. Yes, I'd like to quit. All right, make sure we're on the USB modem. We're gonna connect the FRX Pro. It should have a white light because it's getting power, but there's no data connection right now. The other one is off. We're gonna go ahead and read the configuration. This one's already configured for Alta X. You can see here the power level is 30 decimals and the UART baud rate is 57,600. If it was for Movi Pro, that power level would be 25 and the baud rate is set to 111111, six ones like it shows here. So you can basically read the configuration, set your preset for what you want, and then write the configuration. So in this case, let's say this opened up, you wanna select Alta Config, which is number one, set the preset. It'll work for a second and then tell you that the FRX Pro needs to be rebooted for it to take effect. So all you need to do is unplug it, plug it back in. Now your FRX Pro is set up correctly for Alta X. You'll need to do this for both the transmitting and the receiving FRX Pro before they can connect to each other. If you need to access this FRX Pro, you can fish your USB-C port down in there, but hopefully you do it before you install it. If you have any questions about this process or anything else around the Alta X, please reach out to support at freeflysystems.com and the agents will be happy to help you out. Hope you learned something today. Have a good one.